All right, guys, so welcome back to another video. It's your man, Jay Will. So this is a 4K action cam that I've been testing now. I didn't post an unbox or anything like that. Here's the box. It comes with a lot of brackets and things and things that you would expect from a 4K, um, or not a 4K, an action cam. Now, it shows that it's Wi-Fi and also uh, it can be water resistant when you put it in up to 30 feet when you put it in this particular case right here. Uh, but nonetheless, this camera shoots in 4k it also shoots in 60 frames per second uh, 1080p and I found that it's actually a, a really nice camera now the camera itself uh, has a two inch screen on the back it is not touch screen but it has an SD card slot right here and let me zoom a little bit see if I can so it has an SD card slot right here and I have an SD card in there then you have your uh, HDMI out right there and I do have a cable for that, and it you know it works pretty good. And you have your um, USB right there for charge and sync. Now, this camera shoots pretty good video, and I'm going to go ahead and pop some of the video in so you can see it. But navigating the camera, since it's not a touch screen, can be a little difficult. So it powers on by holding down this button here, and it comes on, and then you get the the interface. Now, to you press this again to get to the modes where you can switch to a 12 megapixel photo, wide, and then burst, and all the different settings. So, here's where I found it to not be the most intuitive. I mean, again, this is not the most expensive 4K camera, uh, but it works good, but the settings were a little... I, I didn't like not having a touch screen. So there's buttons right here that you actually use to navigate and then use this button on the top when you want to actually uh, do something. So the resolution, the video resolution, I press it, you can see it goes to 4K, 2.5K, 1080p at 60 frames per second, 1080p at 30 frames per second. This camera, although I say I don't like the settings, uh, it has a lot of settings in here. So as you can see here, 720p at 120 frames per second and 720p at 60 frames per second. This camera is boss. It's really good. Let me see if I can... And here's what I ran into trying to get out of here. I was like, how do you get out of here? And this is where I'm talking about where the settings weren't that good. So you got to you gotta hit the mode button and, and it'll take you back out. So then uh, you can go video looping, you can do timestamp, you can do, you can do the exposure, you can do the photo resolution. And I keep it set at the 12 megapixel because I don't see why I wouldn't. I want to get the highest quality I can possibly get. Uh, but nonetheless, it is good. So, um, and I'll do, I'll uh, probably post some photos, I don't know. But uh, I really I use this in the car for just a short bit of time, as you can see in the video uh, footage there. And the quality is good to be, it's good for 4K. Burst photos, time lapse, continuous lapse. Um, you can do the power frequency. You can see here, you can do it. 50 hertz, 60 hertz, or auto. You can change the language, date and time, and sound indicator. You can flip it to where it's upside down with all these different brackets, depending on how you're mounting it. It even has a screen saver and a power saver. Uh, and then that's everything there. Uh, the camera itself, though, um, I, was, I was fairly impressed with it. Um, it comes open on the, the battery. There's a battery in here that you take out. Uh, nonetheless, this camera proved itself to be pretty good. Uh, the only thing that I dislike about it uh, is the actual navigating through the through the system there. I don't like how the menu is because it's not a touch screen. And it's, it's intuitive, but it's just it's not a touch screen. And I don't like scanning back and forth with all these buttons right here. I just didn't like that. Uh, nonetheless, the camera is good. The only thing I didn't operate was the Wi-Fi. Um, just couldn't get it to work. Um, um, after one or two tries, I said, you know what, I won't even use the Wi-Fi anyway. Uh, so, but the 4K sample footage is really good. I mean, this this little camera is only fifty-five dollars, and it it shoots in 4K. It shoots in 1080p at 60 frames per second. That's just beautiful footage. I mean, what what more could you want? What you can see there, 4K. That's really good. And let me go back to the settings. Oops, wrong one. Uh oh, didn't, I took a photo, a 12 megapixel photo. As a matter of fact, I think I will. I'll, I'll, I'll take some photos and um, I'll go ahead and um, let you see how they look. 
and I'll do that now. I'm going to take some photos and I'll post them at the end of this video. But anyway, this is a 4K action cam. Uh, I'll give you some video footage and some photos so let you see how it actually actually how she works. And $55, I don't think you can have a, find a better deal like this on the internet. Not a GoPro. I think it's a little bit better than a GoPro actually because it costs a smidgen of the a cost of a GoPro. And let me go ahead and I'll zoom out and go ahead and show you the things that actually came in this box. You got a lot of the brackets here. And um, there, there's just a every bracket that you can possibly think of. You even get a spare back so if that one breaks on here you got another one. You got the adapter for the plug, you got your USB, you got an, an additional one of these which slides off and as you can see it's actually 3M so you know it's actually going to be good quality. You get an additional one of those. This is the charger. And here comes all the extra brackets that you get. There are so many brackets in here. I just, here's a belt clip. Uh, I just saw these brackets and I thought, oh my gosh, they're making sure that you have every angle that you could possibly need to mount this thing. And that's a good thing. You see all these brackets? You even get extra 3M. And you get a cleaning cloth as well. A pretty nice cleaning cloth. Uh, but yeah. This action cam proved itself to be really, really useful. The quality was really good. Um, let's get back in here. The quality on this thing is good. So take a look at the photo samples that I'm getting ready to post. And uh, it's your man, Jay Will, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. All right, guys. So. I had to do a voiceover because the there was music playing uh, in this in this video, uh, but this video was shot in 4K on the on the uh, I was going to say the GoPro, <laughs> the uh, 4K action cam, and the quality is is really good. I think it's I think it's solid, and uh, at the end you'll see I dunked it under some water for the outro, but uh, there it is. A nice uh, video sample. I was just kind of moving it around to see how the frame rate was, and it it, um, it reproduces the colors pretty accurately. Uh, as I was driving here, I was just kind of swinging it around to see how it would do. Uh, but there you have it. That's a quick um, a quick uh, video sample uh, for this 4K action cam. I think it's totally worth it for 50 bucks. You just can't beat it. I have a link in the description, by the way. So go get yours.